Hello and welcome to the Quick School Subjects Setup and Management Quick Guide. In this video, we'll be showing you how to turn on the Subjects tab, Add Subjects, Change Existing Subjects, Change or Add Subject Teachers, and then how to enroll students in those subjects. The Subjects tab is made available when you turn on a feature that requires it, such as the Homework or the Report Cards Gradebook feature on either the Apollo or the Athena plan. Simply go to the Features tab and check any of the checkboxes to turn on any of the features. Once you've turned on the required features, you'll see the Subjects tab now appears in the menu bar. There are three sections in the Subject screen, Subject Setup, Subject Enrollment, and Global Subject Setup. You will only see this third menu option if you have administrator privileges. Teachers and staff members will only see the Subject Setup and Subject Enrollment menus. Let's take a look at the Subject Setup section first. Here you'll find a list of the subjects that you teach. Depending on the level of access you've been granted, you may be able to manage other teachers' subjects, and you can do this by selecting the teacher from this drop-down menu. To add a new subject, you'll need to enter the subject's name, an abbreviation for the subject, and which grades you'll be teaching the subject for. Once you've finished filling out the subject's information, click Add Subject. Your new subject is now added to your subjects list. The subjects are displayed by grade, subject, abbreviation, and by the number of students currently enrolled. Right now, we can only see 10 rows of subjects per page, which is the default view. Since you have more subjects than can fit on one page, Quick Schools divides them into separate pages. To navigate between pages, just click which page you'd like to go to. To change the number of rows that can be displayed on each page, click the gear icon in the bottom left. You can choose how many rows you'd like to display, from 10 to 100, to any number you choose. To change the details of an existing subject, click the Edit button to the right of the subject's listing. Here you can change the subject name, abbreviation, and the teachers associated with the subject. You can change the teacher teaching this subject, as well as add a second teacher. To save your changes, click OK. You can also delete a subject by simply clicking the Delete button by that listing. Now that we've added and set up our subjects, let's enroll students into them by going to the Subject Enrollment section. By default, the Subject Enrollment section only lists the subjects you teach. If you've been granted access, you can set up the Subject Enrollment for other teachers, but for now, let's enroll students into your subjects. All of the subjects are sorted by grade, so to enroll students, click the Enroll Subjects button for that student's grade. A list of all the students in that grade will appear. The students who are currently enrolled in the subject will already have a check mark by their name. To enroll a new student, just click their checkbox. You also have the option to enroll all the students in the grade at once by clicking the checkbox under the subject abbreviation. But what if you want to enroll a student that's not in the current grade you're working in? No problem. Just type in the name of the student you wish to enroll and select their name or hit return. The new student is now added to your subject's enrollment list at the current grade level. When finished, remember to click Save. The students you enroll will appear in your gradebook and attendance lists and will also receive any homework you give them in your class. This is all streamlined automatically by Quick Schools. We hope you enjoyed this chapter of our quick guide. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us by either using the live chat bubble in the bottom right of your screen or emailing us at support at quickschools.com.